Hello everybody, Azumi here. Let's do Magni Decimates S4 like really late. So um, first up I'm running Tiger God and that's what she has. Next is going to be Sangrid. A lot of stuff with high attack power. Um, Clam Girl. Rhoda who is just amazing and can heal this fight with only her skill. And last but not least, Kururururu. And let's go. Well, been a while since I've done one of these, so let's get to it. We got uh, Magma Buster Magni, who is in the melee row, is Aesir and considered to be airborne. Um, his action skill does 110% fire attack damage to the four farthest enemies and 60% fire attack damage two times and flame chain for three turns to the three farthest enemies. That's a lot. Um, and buff swipe three turns to self. Flame chain applies only to human therians and beast. It also the attack also ignores barriers and counter attacks. So buff swipe is pretty dangerous due to the fact if you bring any buffs in here, he's just going to steal them right away and then you're going to hit by him. So you do not want to buff his attack or anything like that. Would be pretty bad. Um, next up is his auto skill which does fire attack damage and more flame chain. And fire wound for three turns to all enemies. Now that fire wound applies to everybody no matter what. And Flame Chain only applies to Elves, Therians, and Beast. And of course he has the Flame Drive Field and Magnetic Field. So Magnetic Field makes your gear a lot less likely to proc. And the Flame Drive Field makes it so pretty much that's your artifacts. So the higher percentage of the support that your artifact has, like the boots only have 3%, but the axe has 15%. So whenever that activates, then you're going to be getting a 15% boost on your skill gauge if you're using the axe, or only a 3% if you're using the boots. So that's the difference between um, what each one actually does. So the better, I mean, and that applies to one, one star artifacts versus even five star so you can have a one star and still get the full benefit of having that 15 percent but you won't have all the stats so um pretty much the way that this fight works is you have to knock out the automata automata whatever you say it with either being frozen or vortex then you can reliably hit magni um I couldn't really do it before, I didn't really try, but Awakened Sangrid really helped a lot, and Magni is also fairly weak to Dark as well as, Water is his main weakness, but he's also fairly weak to Dark, so Sangrid is a pretty decent choice with giving, with the Awakened Passive giving everybody, well three people I think, increased damage to Airborne, so he's Airborne. And you just exploit that. He's an Aesir, so you use stuff that'll give you bonus damage to that. Like the new Rovaria that just got awakened today will give you a passive for that. She's pretty decent for this fight, but you can't use her as the back three or she's going to get flame chained. Um, I'm using Tiger God for the quick in the frenzy. Rhoda is my heels, and Clam Girl and Kururu is to knock down the automata so that's pretty much it and here we go with the damage and there we go thank you for watching